Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Dark Avenger. Well, not this week, let me correct myself. The week of October 31st, Dark Avenger comic book review. We're now in Marvel, and... And I'm just checking that's because I don't end. want there to be a malfunction what we had last time. Winter Soldier 12 can be summed up uh, very easily. Uh, cover is misleading. It's actually Bucky versus Wolverine. Bucky um, ends up following the orders, he brainwashes himself into becoming the Winter Soldier again, uh, and um, Wolverine's trying to stop him, it doesn't work, uh, then it goes back in time where Bucky actually says to, um, to um, Hawkeye that he has to do this, and um, it's the only way to save Natasha, I just hope you guys can stop me. He gets brainwashed, he brainwashes the Doctor so there's no way to actually ever do this ever again. Uh, he makes easy work of Wolverine and Hawkeye. While um, in so it says somewhere in New Jersey, uh, Black Widow and Nikolov, uh, yeah, Nikolov. I hope I'm saying his name yeah, right. Yeah, Nikolov. Um, are breaking into some place we don't know where yet. And Bucky's on the run, and it turns out that he has a target. And yes, Captain America does make an appearance here, and they find out who the target is. <sighs> Is Daredevil. What? Yeah, I don't know why. It, somebody close to Bucky. Are you Bucky. sure? But wait, what if it's not the real Daredevil? What it if is the real Daredevil. Oh Definitely real God. Daredevil. And I'm not showing you guys the last page, but it leaves you off with a cliffhanger, and it's whoa. And the next issue continues the... Man um, without fear. It continues the whole Bucky now being Winter Soldier again. Go oh, Daredevil. So it's going to be very interesting seeing exactly what happens next now in Winter Soldier. So wait, he's not turning evil or anything, right? Right now his mind is wiped. Evil is what the right thing for him. Uh, to be honest, I'm glad I actually stuck with the series now. I, I dropped it because the I, I wanted to drop it because the last story arc was just boring, but this just picked up. It just picked up again. So, um, yay Ed Burbaker, you're awesome. We have two final issues. This one's mine, Michael's is next. The Mighty Thor, issue 22. Now, I have to admit, everything Burns was, at most, the most mediocre story I've read in a while. And to be honest, it, it disinterested me in Thor. It really did. It did a number on me, because it was like, every week I was reading another part. It was, it was nine parts, I believe, or seven parts, or six parts. It had to be six parts. It had to be about six Between parts because it was seven. three in the Journey into Mystery and then three in the Mighty Thor. And, and man, every week it just added. You know, it, there was a lot of content, but a lot of a lot of stuff that could have been written over in like a page or two instead of a whole book. So Mighty Thor's last issue actually made me happy because it's like okay, the new series will maybe pick up. And Matt Fraction surprised me with this book. It says the aftermath, but yeah, it is the aftermath because Odin wants Thor to go on trial because he believes Thor is a menace and um, he needs to be banished from Asgard. And since Odin no longer has any uh, ruling in Asgard because the All-Mother does, he says, okay, fine, I call a trial. So Thor, uh, I want to find a picture of Thor. Uh, Thor goes on trial. And the trial is whether to banish Thor from Asgard forever or Thor stays. And um, turns out that Odin and the Old Mother um, shouldn't be involved. They can't be involved because it's too personal. So to represent Odin, he gets the Enchantress, which you can see here. And to represent um, Thor, we have uh, Haldemar, um, whom you guys remember from the Mar story. Um, and they just run through everything that's happened in the Mighty Thor. You know, the uh, they talk about the Lavernium, Lavernia War, the invasion, the siege, the evacuation, everything. And then that's the downside to Thor. But then everything that the Enchanter says against Thor, um, his name is so freaking hard to remember. Um, Hrimdamar actually turns it around and says Thor actually turned out to be the hero in um, in all of that. He's the one that actually saved people. And um, Sifa is brought up 
and she's not too happy. She brings up how Thor brought Loki back, who's the who caused a lot of trouble, and you know he's the whole uh, betrayer of Asgard. And here Thor is uh, bringing him back as a child. He finds his soul and brings him back as a child. And then she's about to talk about somebody else. And he comes back, Boulder the Brave, and it's because of him and his long speech that um, finally all of Asgard says that they will um, stand and die with Thor. And I love Thor's response. And Thor says, and I you, 10,000 times over. The trial's over. Thor is not going to be banished. The Enchantress loses. Odin loses. But it turns out this could all have been a ruse. Why? The last page says it all, and I know none of you really read Thor, so I might as well say it. Um, it turns out that the All-Mother is carrying Odin's son, and the heir of Asir and Vanir is now intertwined within the All-Mother. So the All-Mother's pregnant, and I'm sure this is going to follow somewhere into uh, Thor, God of Thunder. But this ended, just like Captain America, it summed up everything that's happened with Thor, and they put him on trial, and in the end... It was just good. It was just really good. Um, the whole story arc of Everything Burns, and I know a few people enjoyed Everything Burns. I thought it was okay, too, but it was mediocre at best. Nothing amazing, spectacular. You know, there were certain Thor stories that were so good, like when Thor was thought to be dead, but then he came back to life. That was good. When Thor came back, it's like, yeah, even the Mare story was okay. The other Everything Burns is just... It's there. So I'm hoping that when Thor God of Thunder comes out, and it's coming out this Wednesday, so I'm actually glad that this issue came, this comic came to me this week, because by this sun Saturday, um, or Friday, hopefully, depending on if the comic come exactly on time, yes. I will have the first issue of Thor God of Thunder, and that is what I'm going to be reviewing on Dark Avenger Inc., and I'm looking forward to it. This is a really good ending to Thor. Um... It sums everything up with Thor. You don't really have to have had to have read everything. It does explain everything quite well, but it's up to you. Yeah. All right, and here's my final issue of X-Men Legacy, issue number 275. And uh, Rogue plays a very main part in this comic book. You know what? Altogether. There's something about there's something that happens with Magneto and A, a versus X consequences. Does it happen in this book, I wonder? Uh, no, Magneto actually doesn't show up in this book. They just talk about what happened last time. and. Uh, oh, okay, so Magneto's not even yeah. in this book. And actually, uh, Cal, they call him, uh, main appearance in this book. And uh, he helps her along by, you know, she wants powers from him, so that way they can fight, uh, you know, uh, what was it again? They said in the beginning... Uh, like, there was danger that happened uh, somewhere, and uh, it would be a disaster if uh, she doesn't uh, help out and everything, so... This obviously all takes place before Uncanny Avengers. Exactly. And uh, the artwork is really... Like, there are lots of villains that appear in this issue, and I'm not going to mention it here. I'll mention it when I do an in-depth uh, <clears throat> on uh, Ink. But... Um, there are just lots of people, and there's, like, very action-packed, and, uh, she actually has, a uh, wings, bro, because, uh, yeah, took yeah, the powers yeah, from him. power drain sucking. Ooh. Yeah, and she goes into a cell where there are mutants that can, uh, give her powers to fight, and, uh, let's just say, uh, she pretty much had a, uh, makeover <laughs> of, uh, all the people's power she absorbed from the cell. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And she just knocks out everyone. Like, she just... Just one Rogue punch. Rogue owns all. Like, Rogue Punch, you're gone. That's it. Yeah. And Rogue Smash. Rogue Smash, indeed. And, uh... Like, basically, Rogue and Cal were talking again. Like, before in the beginning, like, she thought he was asking her the big question of if they want to go out and stuff because her and Magneto broke up. And he saw her talk to Gambit issues uh, back. And that wasn't the question. It was just to help her out. And, uh, yeah. The whole thing ends with... It feels great. feels great. And, yep, and that's the final issue, and in two weeks, X-Men Legacy issue number one. 
Actually, that's coming with the Thor God Thor. of Thunder. So basically, you should be happy too. Your final issue is you're getting your final issue the same week as uh, your issue one. Hooray, yeah. But uh, great issue, guys. I'll go more in depth on ink about it. But uh, you guys should pick it up. It's a final issue. Why not? If you've been picking up X-Men Legacy all along, you should definitely pick up the final issue. And Rogue Smash is all I can say. And before we get into the Marvel Now books, which there are two... AVX Consequences Issue 4. A uh, lot happens here. So let's delve into the very beginning. If you guys saw the preview, you know that Scott, um, Iron Man goes to see Scott. And oh, he, wants to, um, he wants to do some tests on um, Scott. I believe it involves the Phoenix Force. And we find out who the traitor is that works with the Avengers. It's Abigail. Um, oh, God. Abigail Brand of Sword, who didn't see this coming. She thinks that Cyclops and the extreme, the um, I believe it's the extermination team. She has it somewhere in quotes. Um, extinction, the extinction team works. She thinks that that's what the world needs. So she's basically the spy that's working with the Avengers, while Hope is looking underneath Utopia for her father's file of uh, cables files and her jetpack which there is a conversation between her and Namor and um, Namor you know he says you I've always welcomed you here you can look, get take what you want and she's like um, how could you have done all you've done he's like you know when you have all this power and then he stops himself he's like um, uh, you don't speak to the king of Atlantis that way and he's like have you ever felt small hope summers I never had until the Phoenix, well he doesn't say this, but I'm saying until the Phoenix Force, and I dislike it intensely, and he goes off. We then see, from the last issue, remember, Storm found out through Colossus' sister where Colossus was. He grew a goatee, Colossus? Yeah, he grew a beard. Oh, and wow. um, he's debating whether he wants to be a pacifist or the opposite. And he's like, the heart is the most sentimental organ, and he no longer trusts it. He's just, he wants to be left alone. And uh, in the end, he's like, the decision is yours. Are you going to bring me in or not? Uh, and she's like, you know what, I'm not. And then his final words are, if you see my sister, kill her. Then Magneto shows up, and it turns out Magneto's going right back into the role he was in uh, before. Uh, I love how Storm's like, you're not the villain here, Eric. And he's like, um, to be honest, Aurora, our roles are nothing more than how the time chooses to cast us. So he's going to go back to being the bad guy. Yeah. And then, spoiler alert here, guys. Jake, whom I thought was going to be a new person joining um, Cyclops' uh, team, ends up being killed. Um, Wolverine wants to make sure that Cyclops doesn't make any rash or a crazy decision, so he shows up and gives him a bit of a pep talk. However, the pep talk doesn't work. If you guys remember the issue before where... Um, Cyclops said he doesn't want to be broken out because he'll be considered a, a, um, a political criminal or a villain. Uh, he changes his mind, and I love the last lines of Magneto. Villain it is. Danger, him and Magic are going to probably break Scott Summers out of jail. And we all saw Emma Frost with them too, so two to one, Emma Frost is going to join them as well. Oh, yeah. So this is really building up to a climactic fifth issue, and it's really good, really good, awesome good. I'm talking, wow. It Who was working with Emma Frost, the other guy? What other guy? Namor. Namor's the one that's not actually following uh, Cyclops yeah, someone, and the Extinction there was someone else team. We don't know who that is yet. Oh, we don't know, okay. We don't know who that person is yet, but it'll be somebody, they said. But, um... Now Moore's actually joining the Avengers, so now Moore's leaving Cyclops and everything. I think after behind. the whole thing of finding out what happened, I think that's why. Okay, this book is continuing on in its numbering. However, it is now officially part of Marvel. Now, Wolverine and the X Men issue nineteen, the second semester, is here, and a lot goes on. This story is broken up into three parts. Beast is trying to save Brew, and he's not. He's having trouble saving Brew. A it's blade? Look, yeah, Blade's in this. It's Maybe. looking pretty futile. While in a different part of the story, um, well, for one little part, deep in space, uh, Iceman and a few of the students from the Jean Grey school are bringing food 
to alien to an alien planet that was I believe it was yeah they fell victim to the Phoenix Force. Uh, then it goes to Beast trying to save Brew, and he's willing to do whatever it takes. He's trying all he might. Wolverine and um, Rachel Gray are looking for the people responsible for killing Brew. Toad is pissed off that um, I'm not. She's not going to be on this over here anymore, is she? She's an ugly. Oh yeah, Husk. He's upset that Husk is leaving, and of course there's still interviews going on to fill her position. And actually, in this panel right here, I think this is going to play into something in the um, in the near to yeah, sometime in the near future. Toad is pissed off at Wolverine because Husk is actually leaving, and he's blaming Wolverine for it. You see the anger in his face, and it's, the and the picture that symbolizes. And he destroys the picture of Wolverine, so you know that Toad is possibly going to turn on the crew at some point. Matt Murdock takes. Uh, part in this issue as well, and he gets uh, um, Angel back his company. Dude, Warren was in a lot. Yeah, Warren got his company back, and he's letting his students run it because he has a higher calling. Two new mutants are introduced um, into a new class, and interviews are still going on, and the funniest one is with Deadpool. I'm sorry, <laughs> Deadpool's interview was the best. Kate Kilgore is hiding out in the forest right outside of Salem, and Wolverine finds something that's very disturbing and he makes a statement that I want to kill him for he's like when we find him and I'm gonna need you to do me a favor when we find him I'm gonna need you to do me a favor you do whatever it takes to make sure I don't go too far too far you understand me nobody gets to kill kids around me not even me because Kate Kilgore basically dug graves for every single person in the Jean Grey school all the students I hate this kid I wish that Wolverine wouldn't have said that, but what can you do? Finally, somebody gets hired, and it's Storm. We all knew this. I'm not spoiling anything here because it's two weeks old, and the circus is coming to town to be continued. The last part where the circus is coming to town just sets up for the next story arc. Storm joining Wolverine and the X-Men's team. Wolverine's team, we'll call it, because Cyclops is getting his team back in Uncanny X-Men uh, in February. Which I'm going to check out because it looks interesting. But beside the point, it was hilarious watching um, cat go, Kitty go through. I said cat. <laughs> very good, Chris. Very good, Chris. Yeah, it's very good. I, I'm tired. Kitty go through very all good. those interviews with people from Lord knows where. Blade, Deadpool, a real teacher, Spider-Man taking a picture. He's like... I'm not here to, for the job. I'm just here to take a picture. Is that where Wolverine sits and grades his papers? Oh that was hilarious. God. I'm sorry. That was so That's good. That's Spider-Man. And that then is Beast awesome. is trying to save Brew. Wolverine's trying to find Cade Kilgore. And, yeah, it's just this, this is a packed issue, but it was really good. Marvel Now, baby, mm -hmm. is in Wolverine and the X-Men, and that is awesome. Which leads us into the last book for this review. Yep. And me and Mike are actually did. doing... A double because it's two teams in this book. Michael, start off. We have A plus X number one. Did you read the second story though? I only read a little bit of it. Okay. Because I had to speed read to the okay. uh, two comics so, I had this week. First the story. first story was where um, Captain America. It's a Captain America and uh, Cable, but Bucky actually teams up with. Uh, Bucky's Captain with America. Captain America, and you know what I like, and I want to show this: the Sentinel with the Nazi swastika. Yeah. So technically, Sentinels were around way before the whole mutant thing happened. Yeah, and they were teaming up to with Cable. Cable's here. Yeah, to go against the Sentinels and just. It was really very action-packed, and this... Oh, oh never mind. I'm sorry. Mutant detected. Apparently, the Nazis... Like, who, Oh, never who mind. Because he? here's the mutants and everything also. Yeah, no, never mind. It was just a converted Sentinel. This wasn't before. This yeah, was but there's a kid who goes in there, and I can't remember his name for the life of me, who commands the Sentinel to um, go after him. And he has the cards of who to go after. And uh, they just, you know, take them out, and they're just trying to find ways <laughs> to strategize. Easy. Actually, it was Bucky who did a smart move by taking out the Sentinel, which is in that panel right there. And, uh, and it turns out the guy was from the future, I believe, right? Yeah, and they got the guy who was behind this, and the end. It was, it was interesting. I like 
Captain America and Bucky, how they team up, because they make a really great team, and uh, I found that to be very interesting, um, that story itself. And now Chris will do the next story. Next story is Wolverine and Hulk, and the beginning was awesome. Wolverine finds his piece of cake in Avengers Tower, I believe it is, yeah. And Hulk shows up, and he's like, that's my cake. And then out of nowhere, this is the best splash page ever. We have Old Man Wolverine, and I forgot what Hulk this was this is but it's from the future also and they're there for a reason and we don't know why then it all of a sudden becomes present Hulk versus future Hulk present Wolverine versus future Wolverine and at one point they actually switch I love I love I was like Hulk switch smash me smash me old me and then I love how the old Hulk says you think you're heroes of you're the heroes of the story think again at this time, you're, you house one of the most dangerous people in history. Your world, our world, the future demands his death. And they don't know who. He, they don't say who. But basically, Wolverine and Hulk... Well, Hulk using his super clap does... Oh, my gosh, you know. tonight. Yeah, and basically, they get shot off, and... Um, and they actually get sent back. We don't know where, but basically, they go to the future... So it's like a portal. And I love the I love the I love the artwork. I love the artwork in this first story. It's just amazing. Who does the artwork in the second story? I'm sorry. But it's like, like a portal. Yeah. That they went the artist, the penciler here is Dale Known. The writer is Jeff Leo, who didn't see that coming. And the other writer was Dan Slott. Really oh, good. Oh, Dan Slott. He's and amazing. Dale Known really did an awesome art job. I would love to see him in more books. Uh, it turns out they jumped to Washington D.C. in Another Tomorrow, and it turns out. The target, spoiler alert here, but you guys have read this by now, is the Red Hulk. And it says, the end for now. So apparently in a future story arc, Whoa. the future Red Hulk, whom I have no idea how, but future Red Hulk has his mustache back, is saying to save the future, to save wait, the future. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me the future Red Hulk has a mustache? Look, see the mustache? And it says right here, Since for the world to survive, the Red Hulk must die. But for some weird reason, the Red Hulk now has a mustache. Since when did... To, when did the Red Hulk have a mustache until... Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't believe what I just saw. That's and then the a, next issue, Spider-Man Beast, Kitty Pride, and Iron Man. Oh, that I got look, I'm looking forward so, to. So, I liked it. I loved it. I love the artwork. I love yes. the story. I will be... Back every single issue. This is definitely nothing like AVX versus. Yeah, because they don't have the fun facts. I mean, I mean, they were fun. Uh, the fun facts are the ARs now. Remember, Cat said that. I know. Or somebody like, said that. Somebody mentioned that. I think it was Cat. But it was fun reading it. You know, right here. I mean, what if you don't have an iPod Touch? And, you know. You have my iPod Touch. Just take my iPod Touch and put but it. But it could be something to read to make me laugh. You know, ha ha, and ho ho, and he he. You know. Don't listen to him, Marvel. Keep the fun facts AR away. It's. This is a really good book. Five out of five? Yes, five out of five, definitely. I'm sorry, this is nothing like Versus. A B A Avengers vs. X-Men Consequences is nothing like Avengers vs. X-Men. Versus changing to plus is awesome. The plus is awesome, not the Versus. The Versus was okay, especially that last issue. Oh, the last issue, but don't remind this me. this makes up for that tenfold awesome, and Consequences is doing better than Avengers vs. X-Men. It's amazing. The sequel series, or the renamed series, because it's Avengers vs. X, and Consequences, better. and this is a plus X, are doing, t in my opinion, this was a really good book. If you like team-ups, get it. You don't have to buy all the issues either. If you don't like the team-up, you don't buy the book. The cover tells you exactly who's teaming up. If you don't like the Hulk and Wolverine, you don't have to buy this issue. Buy the next issue. None of them are going to interlock. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have yeah. any connect yet. You never yeah. know. You never know, but for right now, they're not interlocking. It's like Avenging Spider-Man. Buy the heroes Spider-Man teams up with that you like, skip the ones you don't. I just decided to drop the whole dang thing. And guess what? What? We did this in two parts. That's right. We did it in two parts, baby. Well, there wasn't that many. Da -da 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 Unless you want to talk about something for three more minutes. Um... No, because the outro sometimes is a little yeah. lengthy. But beside the point, guys, thank you guys for sticking around. Yes, uh, thank thank you. you guys. I know it's two weeks late, and if you're actually watching this entire uh, review just to see what our opinions are, 
thank you so much for sticking with us for these two parts. Even it really though really means books, a lot to us. Even though these books are two weeks late. And we had to speed read them. <laughs> yeah, we had to speed yeah. read them. And hopefully the books tomorrow will come, so we'll have something to talk about on the live show. And yes, then, stay and tuned then, for that tomorrow night. And then probably tonight. unboxing Friday for last Friday will happen tomorrow, but the review will probably be on Wednesday, to be quite honest. I don't think we'll be able to read all we'll the books after the live goes, shows. You know. Yeah. So we'll see yep. about that. Uh, you guys know the drill about the favorite. Yeah, subscribe. Guys. I don't have to say that over and over again. Please, I don't want to. I, I will like continue a little bit. Will you shut up? Thank you. I was going to just... Interrupt me every two seconds. You interrupt I me. feel like a robot, so I'm not going to say everything. But I will say this. I really... Uh, love comments. They're the most favorite, my most favorite thing in the world. So I encourage you guys to leave comments, even though these books are two weeks late. Likes, dislikes, questions, agree, disagree, whatever you want, whatever you have for me. I enjoy comments and I will get back to you guys as fast as humanly possible. Well, I have big things planned for this channel as far as reviews. We're counting down. We are 43, 43 episodes away from 200. That's going to be huge. Comic Book Corner is going to be coming back soon. It's just we're very busy working on Dark Event Drink, which we have even huger things coming uh, for on. One made what? And we want to just say happy uh, Veterans happy Day. Happy Veterans Day, even though, even though it's, you know, it's um, over, kind of. Yeah. But um, we have huge things we're planning for Dark Event Drink. Huge things. And um, I definitely want you guys to check it out, so definitely slide over to Dark Event Drink. I, we also have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com backslash Dark Avenger Inc. Um, one of the projects, the project for January, I think is going to be scrapped for a little while. It's going to be pushed a little bit further into the future. Um, however, there is the other two projects. Uh, one more person joining the ink group as well as um, the one major project we're going to start working on. Uh, so I will give you guys two major things before the year's out instead. And that will hold you guys off for when we're ready to do this major thing. Anyway. That's ink news. Let's get into this. Big things are going to be coming from my channel too. So guys, like I said, favorite, subscribe. Favorite what you like. Subscribe today. Become a Dark Avenger viewer now-ish. Anyway, A plus X number one. Awesome. Great Definitely issue. check it out. Wolverine and the X-Men issue 19. The second semester is here. Check it out. Really awesome. AVX Consequences number four. Awesome. Doing better than AVX did. I'm going to just stop that. X-Men Legacy 275, final issue. We'll do an in-depth review, but great issue. You guys should absolutely get it. Mighty Rogue Thor Smash. Mighty Thor, issue 22, Everything Burns Aftermath, the final issue of Mighty Thor. Awesome, definitely check it out. Winter Soldier, issue 12, pretty good. Looking forward to the next issue. Justice League Dark Annual 1. Also do an in-depth review. It's boring in the beginning, guys, but it gets better as you read on, so trust me. You don't me. have to say what you're in-depthly reviewing. You can say it once. People are going to know. I already went through Well, if they didn't watch on. the first part, but it's great. You guys should get it. Batman Beyond Unlimited number 9. Awesome. Definitely check it out. The Superman stories are awesome. Superman Beyond rocks. Masters of the Universe, Origin of Skeletor. I leave that up mm. to you guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 15, you guys know I praise TMNT every single time it comes out. It's awesome, it's great, it just needs a new artist, no offense once again to Andy Kun. It just doesn't fit this book, but it's really awesome anyway with the stories. Annual was spectacular, Kevin Eastman drawing it, Tom Walsh writing it, awesome. Uh, Kevin Eastman also wrote it, but it's really awesome, it's just so thick, it's going to take me time to read it. I'll give you guys a review on ink when I'm done with it. Ghostbusters issue 14 was awesome, and Transformers, more than BCI's issue 10 was pretty good too. Got to reread that anyway, maybe give you guys an in-depth review of it sometime in the future. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this two-part episode. Hopefully the books from last week will come tomorrow. We'll get you guys the closer, the, the latest review up ASAP. Take care, everybody. Keep reading, keep collecting. I'll see you guys really soon for another Dark Avenger comic book review. A lot sooner than, we, than you think, but see you guys then. Take well, care, everybody. Later, guys.